everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. So as some of you guys know, I went to Japan recently and I did a, a huge shopping haul from Harajuku. Now this stuff that I'm showing you today was all purchased on Takeshita Street, Takashita Street. This is the main strip in Harajuku. I love this shopping street so much. Normally what I do when I get to Japan is I hit up Harajuku first, I have a walk from top to bottom, and uh, I pick out the things that I'm interested in, then I go off and I explore the rest of Japan on my holiday, and then I wait until my last day to do my shopping. It's a, a good way to do it because you don't want to be lugging around kilos and kilos of clothes everywhere that you go. Also, you might see things in Takeshita Street that you fall in love with, but then you might actually see that exact same item somewhere else in Japan and it might be a bit cheaper. This is a, a big tourist trap, just bear that in mind. It's one of the most popular destinations for tourists, so um, prices do go up a little bit. But I think I got some pretty good deals in today's haul, so without further ado, everything here came from the main strip. I can't remember the names of all of the stores, so what I might just do is show you some shopping footage quickly so you can see me buying the stuff and see where I picked it all up from and then we'll come back and have a look at the items. like Sophia Nygaard's Birkenstocks and then Pretty Pastel Please Birkenstocks right next to each other. Oh my god, it's so cute! The peaches and eyes and the lemons. Black lemon one. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, why, why is that me? <laughs> Which one's you? All of them. <laughs> that one. Look, it's me. There's a blue that staircase that there's this beautiful wonderland down here. Look. How stunning is that? Oh my god, that's literally glorious. Oh my god, it's so wow. pretty. So 
such a hard decision because I adore Pokemon. I would buy every single one of these, but they're $20 each. And to me, that's worth it, but I'm gonna show some self-control. I think I need to get an Espeon. I love Espeon and I love the color purple. Sylveon as well, I should get a Sylveon. I mean, Flareon, that's a really cute color. It's like a buttercup yellow shirt that Flareon's on. Jolteon is on brown, that's okay. Eevee, plain white. Bulbs. The Pikachu's really cute. I think the Pikachu's really cute. It is. But also the colour is a little bit loud for me. What about Squirtle on blue? Mm, no. Do you think just Eevee and... Yes. No, what about Flareon? Do what makes you happy, Alex. What do you think? It's cute, actually. It's cute? They're really thick, like they They're seem nice. They're really good yeah. quality. They're made in Korea. They're so thick. Yeah, what if I get those three? Purple, yellow and pink. And blue? No. No. Stop this madness. Okay, so item number one is this adorable Shiba Inu shirt. This is quite a long shirt. I don't know if you can see the bottom of it there. It's very, very long. It's got Shibas all over it and they say... Ureshi. I think it says Ureshi. So... No... Zai? So... So... Zai? My Japanese isn't good enough for me to be able to read it upside down. Pretty sure that says Banzai. Don't know what that means. I love long button-up shirts like this. Come on. Yes, what do you think? Do you like the doggies? Oh, I just noticed. There's a little birdie here too. Oh, there's a little bird riding on the Shiba. Oh, that's so cute. I love to tie up button-up shirts like this, so this is why I fell in love with this one. If you want to wear it long, you can tuck it into jeans and then pull it out a little bit to get that nice sort of loose flowy effect, or you can tie it up like this. I love this Shiba top so much. This is quite Japanese. They love their Shibas in Japan, so this was a great purchase. Another long button-up shirt that I got was this one, which is covered in avocados. It's quite an unusual fit. I didn't get a chance to try it on in the store. Some stores don't let you try things on. It's got quite big sleeves like that. It is quite a wide shirt and it's got a collar on it too. It's a really unusual crinkly material. I saw this shirt in a couple of places in Japan. Seems like quite a popular design. Now I'm actually gonna try this one on with a, a very special bralette today that comes from our sponsor. That's right, I was able to spend so much money in Harajuku because today's video is sponsored by Lively. Lively sells lingerie that's inspired by activewear and swimwear and it was started by a former Victoria's Secret employee who wanted to redefine how bras were sold. They have a really inclusive size range from 32A to 44 triple D and they're all priced the same. Doesn't matter what size you order, whether you order a smaller size or a larger size, they're priced the same. So it's great for inclusivity. Lively has a huge range of bras and bralettes so it was really really easy for me to pick these. This first one I just love the look of. I love bralettes like this that have this sort of triangular shaped cup and a wide band at the base. I grabbed this one to wear underneath all my black clothes and I picked up this one to wear under anything that's white or pink or any sort of light colors and bralettes this shape are perfect to wear under v-necks. I also grabbed this one which is kind of a pinky color and it's made of the softest material. It's sort of like a, a mesh material. Here's the avocado shirt with the lively bralette underneath. It's so comfortable I can't stress it enough all the bras and bralettes on their side are under $35 and if you want to pick one up for yourself you can click the link in my description box below and you'll get $10 off your first order. So thank you so much to Lively for sponsoring today's video and with that on with the show. I love this shirt so much. It's so adorable. The avocados have little faces on them. They're so cute. It's my dream to make a shirt like this one day that has little Archies all over it. Little teeny tiny, maybe like avocados that look like Archie or like Archie in the shape of an avocado covering the whole shirt. That would be so cute. I would love to have a, a little Archie themed clothing line for my merch. This next top that I picked up is a black off the shoulder top. Now it's a little bit confusing. Um, Ouch. Claws. Claws on skin hurt. It's got these sort of flappy things like this. I believe that it's supposed to tie up in a bow at the back. I'm sorry. I think that this is meant to tie in a bow, but I'm not entirely sure. I do remember on the mannequin, it looked amazing. That's why I bought it. It came in a whole bunch of different colors. I got the black one because the other colors that they had, I had tops that were very similar. But uh, yeah, now that I have it here at home, I can't quite remember what I'm meant to do with it. I don't know if I'm meant to...
I'm not sure on that one. <laughs> this next top was too cute to resist when I saw it hanging on the rack. The pastel colors were amazing. So it's an off the shoulder one, but you can wear it up on the shoulders if you want. It's a bit difficult when you're wearing a, a bralette like I am. You might have to wear a strapless bra if you want to wear a top like this because your little straps get in the way for the sake of leaving the bra on. This is what it looks like with the sleeves down. It's so adorable. It's just a cute little summery top. It's got a layer of mesh and then a silky layer underneath and it sort of changes between blue and purple. And even there's some pink in there too. I picked up one of these classic tsunami print t-shirts because I saw this amazing photo floating around where a girl had this t-shirt and then she had a tsunami long sleeve mesh top on underneath. I do have that top, so uh, that's why I picked this one up. This one was pretty cheap too, it was only $15. You find all these interesting printed t-shirts in Harajuku. They're everywhere, everywhere you look. They all have the same ones. You just, if you see one you like, let's say it's $20, you could go a couple of stores down and then find literally exactly the same printed tee for a different price, either more or less. So I always recommend have a little look around. A lot of stores sell the same thing. These printed t-shirts are so popular in Harajuku. Like I said about the printed tees, they are very popular. This is one that I've wanted for ages. This is the actual image of, this is what the sign looks like for the JR Harajuku station. When you pull into the train station, this is the kanji for Harajuku. That's the hiragana for it. Then it tells you in this direction is Shibuya and in this direction is Yoyogi. So this is exactly the sign that you see when you get out of the train. And I've wanted this t-shirt for ages because I've seen other people with it. I love that it's the exact representation of what you see on the trains and it's it's in actual Japanese it's not like a pigeon Japanese you know where sometimes Western brands might try to put Japanese on clothes and it doesn't quite make sense or it's not spelt right or something this is exact so I've wanted this t-shirt for ages I've eyed it off literally every time I've been to Japan finally caved finally bought it very happy with this one okay so Archie isn't going to be happy about this next top unfortunately because it does have a cat embroidered on it. Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, I'm sorry, look, what do you think? I do need to get some shirts with birds embroidered on them, that's for sure. But I just, I loved the colours of this so much. I love the scalloped hemline. It's very subtle, but it is a scalloped hemline. Quite a long shirt, but I would prefer to wear this tucked into a skirt or tucked into jeans. I really like the length of the sleeves and it's super comfy material too. Sorry. Next up is this blue two-piece set. Now, this is another one I didn't get to try on. I really liked the look of it on the hanger, but now that I'm wearing it, I'm not actually such a fan. I don't think that it fits me in the most flattering way. It's a, uh, I mean, it's very pretty. It's a nice color, but I don't know. There's just something about this bagginess here. It, it just, I don't know. Might like it more if I undo the top button, maybe? That better? Don't get me wrong, it is a very cute outfit, but I may have to switch this up a little bit. Might have to wear this top with a different skirt, wear the skirt with a different top. I don't know if I'm feeling it. It feels very air hostess. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you might recognize this top because when I was in Harajuku last year, I think it was, I filmed this. I walked into a shop and I was like, look how cute that top is. And then I didn't buy it and people were leaving comments and they were like, as if you didn't buy that cat top. This is so cool. It's got cats all the way down here and the buttons actually do up through the cats. I have only ever seen tops like this in Japan. I think it's absolutely adorable. They had different designs of this as well with different types of animals. The cat one I chose because, you know, sometimes you just want to anger your only child. What do you think? What do you think of this? does not like. So to make it up to poor old Archie that I have betrayed him and bought a cat top, I have bought a green pinafore dress, which I think is adorable. This is denim. Now it doesn't fit me quite the way that I was hoping that it would. When I saw it on the hanger, I thought that it was amazing. I thought it would be really flattering, but it's just that little bit too long. I would much prefer if it was sort of at that height. It's sort of touching my knees and it's, ugh, it's not, it's not quite right. If it's set at that height, I would really, really like it. Uh, tell me if you guys know how I could possibly alter this. I'm not a seamstress myself, so I'm not entirely sure. I just wish that it was the tiniest, tiniest little bit shorter. It also seems to be quite loose in the waist. There's no way to tighten it. There's no sort of belt or there's no buttons or anything that can help you tighten it around your waist. This was 
one size. Everything in this store was like a one size fits all kind of deal. And Japanese ladies are normally quite petite, so I'm really surprised that this is as big as it is up here. It's very, very loose. Maybe that's on purpose. Maybe they like sort of oversized pinafore Hi. dresses, I'm not sure, but do you like the green, Archie? It's, a, it's not quite an Archie green, is it? It's got a lovely pocket at the top here, and then a little pocket here. A pocket for keeping almonds in. Hey, what's in there? Any almonds in there? These next few items are from a store called Girl Crush, which I absolutely adore. This place is Korean. The stuff is made in Korea. It's really cheap. The one that I go to is downstairs. It's kind of like an outlet. There's always stuff on sale. These were so cheap. These are Pokemon shirts. They had literally, not every Pokemon, but they had a lot of Pokemon. I would happily have purchased one of every single t-shirt, but Tiasha was the voice of reason and convinced me to only get three. So I got the Evolutions. So I got Flareon. Now Flareon is on a yellow t-shirt. They're quite long, they're a good length for tucking into jeans. I got Sylveon, of course. The... I was gonna say the best Evolution, but I actually think Espeon and maybe Umbreon are the best Evolutions. Don't roast me. But Sylveon is pink, so Sylveon takes out the most aesthetic. All of these t-shirts, all these Pokemon t-shirts from Girl Crush, they're really thick. They're amazing material, really, really good quality. You can tell when clothes are made in Korea versus <coughs> when they're made in China, because clothes that are made in Korea seem to have a higher manufacturing standard. The Sylveon t-shirt is adorable. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. And of course, Espeon, which is a purple t-shirt. Now, I also got this skirt. This skirt is from Girl Crush as well, and I thought I'd show you the Pokemon t-shirt tucked into it. This skirt has a double layer on the inside, so it's not see-through. I know sometimes when I buy skirts from Asian stores, they can be quite thin and you can see your undies through them, but not here because this has a, a good double layer to it. It's a really, really well made skirt. I love the print. I really like the shape and amazingly for me, because this doesn't happen very often, it isn't too short. No bums doing peekaboo today. Now, I also picked up a bucket hat from Wego. Look at you. I figured that I would pair this with this cute purple tea. Uh, I don't actually know what the bucket hat says. What does it say? It says, don't wash, 100% cotton. You guys have convinced me to wear bucket hats. I got a bucket hat a little while ago in a video and I didn't like the way that it looked on me, but the amount of people that left comments that were like, the bucket hat is so cute. I guess Billie Eilish has brought these back into vogue, I suppose. I think coordinating a I think coordinating your bucket hats with your outfits is a great idea. So if you've got a purple bucket hat and a purple shirt and then you've got a little bit of purple on your skirt, am I, am I doing it right? Am I fashioning right? Well, that's just rude. Do you like my hat? What do you think of my hat? Ooh. I love this next top so much. This was cheap. It was $12. It's really nice. It's quite thick. It's a really nice material. It's very, very textured. It's almost like a... I don't know, I like a close knit. I love the way that these little shoulder sleeves sit and it's got this cute little puckered detail here with the buttons. It's quite short and I've paired it with this skirt that I got. Now this skirt's gonna be a bit hard for me to show you because it's very, very, very long. Zoop. There's the skirt, it's really long. It's this beautiful, layered, frilly, amazing pastel skirt. It's blue and then yellow and then pink. And blue and yellow and pink, which is an amazing color combination. It's really, really light, easy to wear. Feel like a, a mermaid or some sort of dancer. Unfortunately, this skirt is very, very sheer though. So you can see my undies through here. Have to wear some nude undies if you're wearing a skirt like this. I paired this top with this because I really like that there's a very subtle pink in here in the skirt and it perfectly matches the tone of the pink in the top. I definitely think a skirt like this paired with some high heels and a nice handbag, cute little top like this, you can sort of wear it day to night. It's very summery, but also I can imagine wearing like a long sleeve sweater over the top. That is like a Korean trend to wear <coughs> to wear longer things over long skirts. The last item is this incredible dress. 
Now there's so many stores in Japan that have amazing clothes like this. They're kind of expensive though, but they are so well made. This dress has so many interesting elements to it. It's got a, a double layer for a start. So you've got a nice silky layer underneath and then you've got the top layer. It's got these beautiful buttons at the top here and it came with spare buttons too in a little Ziploc bag. At the back it has little bunny ears hanging down which is Cute. It's also got this interesting belt detail here. It's attached with these little buttons. So there's little buttons like this on this little belt. You can tie it up at the back so it gives your waist a nice silhouette. It also came with this Ziploc bag that's got these two little bows in it. Whoa, three bows. Okay, I think from memory, I'm not entirely sure because it's been a long time since I saw this, but I think that the bows are supposed to go along the top here somewhere. I think that One's meant to be at the top like that. And then the, the others go down here, I think. Okay, so I'm not positive, but I think this is how it was supposed to be. Feel free to roast me below. I just can't think of anywhere else that I could put three random bows other than this nice little section up here. Let's have a look at the full length. The fit of this is so flattering. It's a really, really nice length. I love that it cinches in here. Reminds me a lot of this one that I got in Shibuya, which is, the. I mean, brands like this, they are definitely more expensive. This is a $90 dress and that's 90 US dollars, which is a fair bit in Australian dollars, but it's, I think it's worth it because they're so lovely. They're made of, they're made of the most lovely fabric. They're so well made, they're so stylish. I definitely recommend if you're going to Japan that you save up a little bit more money, keeping in mind that nice dresses like this are probably gonna cost you like $100. So maybe if you think to yourself, I wanna come back from Japan with two really nice dresses, put aside some money every week. Maybe if you just put $5 in a little jar every week and then maybe if you're waiting a couple of months until your trip, by the time your trip comes around, you've saved up that extra bit of money to get yourself some really nice dresses. You can definitely get cheaper clothes from Harajuku and from all over Japan. You can go to thrift stores and get super cheap clothes, but there's just something so nice about buying these really luxurious, beautiful items. The stores that sell these, they are the most beautiful stores ever. Everything's incredible. All the dresses are so pretty. So I definitely recommend that you at least grab one. If you just get one of these really nice dresses, you're gonna cherish it forever. So yeah, that's it. That's everything that I got on Takeshita Street, at least for this video, cause there is some other stuff too with some fun videos coming up for those. So with that, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. You can find us on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel, please. Hit the notification bell so you know of our future uploads. We have a bunch of cool Japan videos coming up soon, so keep an eye out for those. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!